and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below. Um, Chris just got back from Orlando and he's actually now in India on a business trip. Anyway, so while he was there, he went to the Disney Character Warehouse at both the Violin and the International Drive locations and we'll link the video up in the corner, whichever corner it is. And he bought a bunch of stuff and this is our haul video. I get to do the haul video. I didn't get to do the shopping, but I get to do the haul video. I actually have a whole carry-on suitcase full of items from the Disney Character Warehouse. Now, these items are actually, most of them are not for us to keep. We are going on a Disney cruise in October and we are participating in the Fish Extender um, gift exchange. And so while he was there, he picked up a bunch of items to use as a Fish Extender gifts. And um, so that's actually what is in this suitcase. So let's get down to what he bought when he was there. Okay, so what he got this for himself. It's a Mickey Mouse. It's a really cool ball cap with the adjustable back. Um, it doesn't have a normal price on it. It's a coral color, which I think is usually like 20 bucks in the park. And he actually got this for for $2.99. They have some amazing deals on baseball caps at the outlets and at the warehouse. And he got this for $2.99. And we actually really like ball caps. We love to wear them around um, Disney World. Um, so it keeps the sun out of our eyes and it helps keep us cool. Even my um, eight-year-old daughter loves to wear baseball caps. And so this is a really good find. Oh look, this is what I was looking for. And this is what he brought me back. So he brought me back an Alex and Nani bracelet or an A&A. &A. He found this at the, at the character warehouse. And I think it was about $17.99. This one is Christmas Tinkerbell, if you can see that. We were actually there at Christmas time this past Christmas. And so he got me that and it you know, helps me remember our Christmas trip we have. And I really like collecting the Alex and Anis now. This is my third one. And all of them have been bought at the discount stores. Uh, the other two I have were bought at um, Cast Connections because my sister is a cast member out there. And so we were able to attend, um, go shopping at Cast Connections. But they were also available at the outlets. And so I really like them. And I like paying the discounted price versus the full price. They're amazing, but they're expensive in the parks. So I was so happy he was able to pick that up for me. Okay, so on to our fish extender gifts. So first of all, first of all, we have a whole bunch of the seven dwarf oof oofies. So, so the fun thing about these is they smell, and they all smell like apple. So we have this dwarf and this dwarf and this dwarf and this dwarf and this one so he bought all of these and each of these um at the character warehouse were $2.99 and in the disney parks i know they go for a lot more than that they don't have their price tag on them but i bet that they are at least $5.99 at the parks and he actually brought one of these back for each of my girls too they already have theirs in their room, and so I won't show you those, but they look exactly the same. They're three of the same colors as these ones that the girls all got. And so these ones are going to the um, young, the girls in our fish extender groups. The ones that are like eight and younger are going to be getting one of these along with one of these. So this is an autograph book, a princess autograph book. And it has fun little jewels up there. And it's actually from Disneyland, I noticed. But he got it 
for $1.99 instead of $11.95. So each of the girls will get an oof oofy and an autograph book because on the Disney Cruise, they have characters that you can take these to and they will sign them. And they have a, a whole variety of characters. They have princesses and they have um, Tinkerbell and Peter Pan and Captain Hook on Pirate Night and just tons of different types of characters. So we thought these would be fun to give to the girls to use. And for $1.99, you can't go wrong, especially when you're saving like $10 a book. So those are what we got for the the girls that we have. They're like, I think we got them like four of the girls that are like five to eight. We have a bunch of those. We have a couple of boys that are younger. So we got them, these are like the boys that are like five and six. We got them these Donald Duck as Will Turner? Yes, it's Will Turner from the Pirates of the Caribbean. This is actually from, is this one from, yes, this one's from Shanghai Disney, but we got it for 99 cents. And we have three of those. Um, three. And we thought these would be fun because on um, most cruises, and we have it on ours, is Pirate Night. And so, um, so the dinner is pirate themed and there's pirate themed fireworks and a pirate themed show. Pirate, um, that's when Peter Pan and Captain Hook and Tinkerbell are all out. So we thought it would be fun to give them one of these. To go along with those, we actually got them each a light up skull. I'm not gonna turn them on because we still have the battery protectors in them so that the batteries don't run out before the cruise. Uh, we got three of these for those boys, and I, we actually bought three more for my girls since we're going on the same cruise, and we thought the girls would really enjoy these for Pirate Night. They spin. Oh, I think they just light up. They don't spin. They don't feel like they spin, but they light up, and they're cute, and they have pirate skulls on them. And again, this is actually from the Shanghai Resort, and I think he got these for... About two ninety nine each, which is really good because if you've ever bought light up stuff at Disney, costs your firstborn, costs an arm and a leg. So we bought those, and here are the three for my kids. So for the men in our physics extender, I did not know what to get them, so I left it up to him, and he found these cool metal maker things. So you use, you make them out of this metal without any glue or um, soldering. And this one makes the pilot from um, the original Star Tours, the pilot droid Rex. And then this one makes the Star Speeder from um, Star Tours, which we love Star Tours. And these ones, the Rex was $3.99 and the Star Speeder was $4.99. It doesn't have a price on them, but I bet they're pro probably close to $10 in the park, at least, if not more. So we got a bunch of those for the men. We actually didn't pick up anything for the women because I'm going to make them something, which I will show you in another video. I will do a fish extender packing video when it's closer. So we got these for the men. And then we had a couple of boys that were a little bit older. They were like nine, eight and nine. And so we didn't want to get them these because we're not sure that they would have been so into this. But my kids are very into pin trading right now. Uh, it's one of their favorite things to do in the parks. And you can pin trade on a Disney cruise. So we've got them each a lanyard. This one is just one of the um, St. Paddy's Day lanyards. It's Mickey on one side and Minnie. And these were actually uh, 99 cents at the character warehouse versus $14.99 in the park. So $14 savings. 
for lanyards. So we got two of those for like the eight and nine year old boys. And what we're gonna do is we also found some pins at the warehouse. And we have a lot of pins. See this bag? It's full of pins. So we're gonna take some of these pins and put them on. We'll probably give them like four or five, I think. I don't remember exactly how many we mathematically figured out. But these pins that he got were only 99 cents at Character Warehouse. So if you want to start doing pin trading, um, like my kids do, we just pin trade off of um, cast member lanyards because my kids think it's so much fun. And Chris is editing a video for that and it will be up soon. So if it beats this up, then we'll put a link to it. If not, we'll eventually link it, okay? So if you want to pin trade or your kids want to, I suggest coming to the Character Warehouse because these are authentic pins that you get for 99 cents. Those ones that you buy on eBay that you can get for like 10 cents a pin, those are what we refer to as scrappers. They are fake pins and you can actually tell they're, um, a lot of times we can actually tell they're fake. They're rough around the edges. Um, they were molds that another company bought when Disney was done with them in China and they made all these fake pins and sell them for very cheap. And so there's a lot of cast member lanyards that are just full of the scrapper pins. Um, so it's actually really nice if you trade with authentic pins. Sorry, there's my soapbox. Anyway, so we got these pins for 99 cents. So this one is a soccer pin and it says the Portland Timbers. This one's a really cool Spider-Man. And I think there was, is there any others? Yeah, like I said, I have a whole stack of them. Let's see, Spider-Man, Timbers. Oh, he did buy a couple of these. They're called the Pin Quest pins. They're like these circle compass ones. This one has Ariel on it. And these were like a big thing going on in the Magic Kingdom earlier in the spring and winter time and they've marked the pins down. And these ones were 99 cents. We bought these at Cast Connections when we visited last time and we paid $1.99 for them. So this actually is cheaper right now, 99 cents. And yeah, so he has a bunch of those in here. Yeah. So it's just the soccer, the Spider-Man and um, the compass um, quest pins. So that is all he brought back from the Disney Character Warehouse. They were all really good buys. 99 cents for pins. Usually in the parks, they're like five plus dollars. And it can save you so much money if you're pin trading to go this route because then you're actually trading authentic pins. Sometimes you can't find the 99 cent pins, but you can find them for like even a buck 99. Um, he did pick up a couple of things in the parks and we'll do a whole video for this but i will show you in this video he picked up one of these mystery pack of donut pins and each of these packs um was 27.99 and they have five pins in them i am excited to open these i'm actually going to wait till he gets home so i can do it on our nicer camera because i'm just doing this on my phone right now and I love donuts. And so when I saw these out, I'm like, please buy them for me. And he was nice enough to buy me the donut pins. He surprised me with, he surprised us with one more mystery pack. It's a Marvel mystery pack. And there's a whole, it's just character, little Marvel characters in them. I haven't really seen these opened online, but so I'm excited to see what these look like. I'm kind of ex wanting Thor. Thor, I like Thor or Captain America so watch for that video to come so as you can see you can save so much money going to the character warehouse and he actually got a lot of this at the international drive location because the Vineland got picked over because he worked during the day and he went to the outlets at night so he got a lot of this stuff at the international drive location Make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more fun.